DU has been showing us what we can do, and it's that can-do spirit that I believe in. Don't forget, Ducks Unlimited. Ducks Unlimited Television is brought to you by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting. Welcome to Ducks Unlimited Television. I'm Ainsley Beeman. Saskatchewan holds vast stretches of magnificent waterfowl habitat. Hunting there is a bucket list adventure for many people. Zach Peterson is on these hallowed grounds hunting geese and mallards with Tyson Tabler, Jeff Black, and from Wisconsin, Mike Drake and his daughter Alyssa. Thanks for watching DUTV. We landed in Saskatoon and the airline lets, lets us know that they didn't have enough room on the plane so they just left a few bags back in Minneapolis. Convenient. So Brett has one pair of jeans all week, one t-shirt. We're going to shoot ducks and geese so it doesn't really matter. We don't need a bunch of clothes. But we just got into North Battleford to sketch you on and we're heading north. Got 20 minutes up to meet up with Tyson. Feathered fowl outfitters. That hunt, you know, you think about all summer. It's a kick off the waterfowl season and, and we're lucky to have the opportunity to come up here. Today we're, you know, hunting a, hunting a pea field up here in northern Saskatchewan. The field's had a lot of Canada geese using it, so looking at good dark goose shoot here this morning. Season's been great. Been really, really warm up here. Been struggling with some zero wind days and 80 degree temperatures, but uh, had the opportunity to get on birds uh, every hunt, so no complaints. And, you know, a lot of birds down, just they're uh, enjoying the weather as well, so. A few weeks before we came up to Saskatchewan, Tyson called me and he said, hey, I got a question for you. We have a young lady from Wisconsin and her father that we'd like to bring up on the hunt. Would that be all right? And you know, naturally, my answer is yes, of, of course, that'd be awesome. Ever since I was little, I've always hunted with my dad. Started out in the turkey blind when I was three years old. Hunting is just something special between my dad and I. It's something cool that we get to do together. So that's especially something special about this weekend. Uh, about two years ago, my daughter was diagnosed with an abnormal uh, heart. Um, she needed a uh, pacemaker in order to make everything work right. My daughter was given an opportunity to come up to Saskatchewan and hunt ducks and geese. She's never hunted ducks and geese before. I was very uh, happy and uh, just thinking about the trip and, and what she was going to be exposed to. Yes, sir. It's about, about that time. So. <laughs> First morning we set up at a pea field, it's a pretty standard hunt for us here. That's the food of choice for the birds as they gear up for their migration south. Conditions were tough. We had the wind literally rotated and switched. We had wind from every single direction, which made it very difficult to finish birds where, where we needed them to finish. <laughs> We need a little bit of wind. It's starting to pick up a little bit. If we can get a little wind, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Shoot him! Oof. 
few singles and some stragglers and stuff back there, so coming in right behind us. Get ready. Be ready in front. Nice. Good shot. Nice shooting. Nice work, Mike. Low on the right. Good, yep. You know, we were hoping for a little bit of wind. It was so calm this morning, the birds just weren't finishing right. And now the wind kicks up and it's the opposite direction of what the uh, the old Weather Channel app said. We're shifting the decoys around and they're gonna set up a side shoot. We've got just a straight south, southeast wind now. Spin it around and give it a try. Hopefully this works. Um, it's getting kind of mid-morning. Hopefully they, if they keep flying, we'll pick off a few. If, if not, we'll start planning for the afternoon duck shoot. Right in front, cover up, cover up. Shoot him. Nice, they snuck in out of nowhere. More coming. Be ready. Shoot him. That's a big bird. Shoot him. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice work. Why didn't they all do that? Yeah. <laughs> we actually, if our clients don't take it home, we donate it to the local food bank and they distribute it to all the folks in need. So it goes to a great cause. Our first morning in Canada has come to a close. It wasn't quite as good as we had hoped, but it was still a really solid hunt to get our, our trip here in Saskatchewan started. They just didn't quite like the spread. Um, unfortunately, our wind changed, and when it changed, um, was right in the, the middle of all the birds flying. 67 degrees this morning, it's gonna get up to 80 today. And so those birds all got up and flew at once. We really, we had about a 20 minute window um, when we shot our birds and unfortunately the wind was wrong during that time. So, but all in all, pretty, pretty good shoot. And uh, we've got a fun duck, duck shoot lineup for the afternoon and three days here in Saskatchewan. So, you know, definitely no complaints. We're happy and off to a good start. Corporate America has become a key partner in restoring protecting our most important waterfowl habitat. New laws and regulations governing impacts to wetlands and other habitats have prompted many companies to look for ways to give back to the environment. The conservation work DU has done for more than 75 years is now referred to as ecological goods and services in the corporate world. These goods and services can be bought or traded by corporations that need to mitigate damage or destruction to wildlife habitat. All DU projects benefit ducks, geese, and hundreds of other wildlife species. But these habitats also help sequester carbon and purify water, functions that are very attractive to corporations that want to do something good for the environment. Our number one mission will always be Habitat for Waterfowl, so we're working with many of these companies to see how we can partner on projects that are good for the ducks, good for the environment, and good for that corporation's business. Find out more at ducks.org. I'm Scott Laysath, cooking editor for Ducks Unlimited magazine with 
One of the lesser tender pieces of waterfowl, this is a Canada goose breast. Now the honker breast can be a little bit tough and they can be a little bit chewy. What I highly recommend is that you buy one of these deals. This is a jacquard. What I suggest is that you get the ones that have the surgical steel blades as opposed to the points. What this does is it cuts through the connective tissue of that tough honker breast. You can actually use this on tougher steaks, pork, just about any kind of meat. It's not just for honker breasts. And you just push it down into the meat. It's spring loaded. And what is cool about it is it doesn't change the texture of the meat. It does, it's not like pounding it. You can feel it cutting through the connective tissue. And so rub it with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And once you cook it, it is so much more tender than if you don't. And after it's cooked, you want to make sure that when you slice it, you slice it across the grain. That makes it even more tender. So for tips like this, recipes, and a whole lot more, check out Ducks Unlimited Magazine and ducks.org. Yeah, afternoon shoot. They've got two trailers, two two different spreads, and so we're rearranging some stuff for. Uh, we're gonna target some snow geese and some mallards this afternoon in a cut field. So <laughs> I'm gonna egg him on and tell him that he needs a better one. I first came across the opportunity to meet Allie and Mike. I knew that they had been waterfowl hunters in the past. It just made sense that we could bring them up and, and they could experience some, some incredible waterfowl adventures up here. Here comes some more ducks. <laughs> you ready in front? Ooh, did they buzz the tower? Here comes a single. You ready on the right? Shot. They do it like that. It's gonna be fun when they go, they get flying. It's a Drake too, isn't it? No? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Must be a yellow one. Good shot. <laughs> I just looked up there right there. Rossi's. Get ready, Alan. I like to be sitting in that slough. <laughs> oh boy. Those ducks are just bombing in that one little hole. They just want water right now, don't they? <laughs> About halfway through the afternoon hunt, a bunch of Canada's and snow geese landed in the next field over. And uh, as you all know, it's pretty tough to compete with live birds. And it was on a different landowner's piece of property. We didn't have access to it. So it was fun to watch a, a show, um, birds pouring in over there all evening, but uh, it definitely made it tough to decoy birds. That was a mallard eclipse. They still might come back. Here we go. They're coming back, they're coming back, guys. Get ready, Ali, right out front.
Give me some. You got your first duck in Canada. Awesome. That girl. That was that was gorgeous. They did. They did do it right. That was pretty incredible. Swung perfect just over your shoulder. Oh, 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 three. Uh, ducks from our left. <laughs> Come back. Coming back, coming back. Oh, here comes I said shoot it that time. And nobody <laughs> seemed real excited to shoot it. I was like, well, it's fine. <laughs> We had a nice hunt, a couple of real nice bunches of ducks come right in and got some great shooting. Had an unbelievable sunset. Headed back to lodge and filled their bellies and got some rest. Allie, you excited? Yeah, a little cold, but it'll be good. <laughs> At dinner our first evening, we checked the weather and noticed that we had a change in two things, wind direction and temperature. The temperature dropped is a lot cooler our second morning, and we had a nice 10 to 12 mile an hour east wind, so that sun was coming up at our back. And the field they were hunting was a pea field, again, just like our first day, but there's a ton of lessers and a good number of ducks feeding in this field for the previous two days. I'll tell you what, they showed up. Coming off our behind us to the left. Just swing out in front of us and square up. First bunch of the day on the board. If they keep doing this, it's going to be good. It's an awesome spot. This field sits down low, and we're seeing birds in the horizon everywhere. So if the wind's right, the sun's behind us. It's going to be awesome. Low to the right. Oh, those are sweet. Couldn't couldn't ask for any better than that. Nice. Allie's just a, an amazing young lady, and uh, she's doing she's doing great in her treatment. And uh, you know, talking to her dad and to her mom, you know, they just couldn't be more thrilled that they were able to get up here and and uh, experience some you know experience some incredible waterfowl hunting here in Saskatchewan. Those first couple groups, you know, I pulled up, shot my lane on the far left side. You know, Allie was right to my right side. I'm telling you, those birds to the right of me were falling. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> From the right. <laughs> I got that one. You guys wiped everything out. I was like, there's nothing for me. Ooh, that was pretty. Look at all of them on the horizon right there, Allie. So <laughs> that is awesome. If that doesn't make you smile, nothing does. Unbelievable. That's awesome. Seems nice. It's really neat to see Allie take an interest in the outdoors, ask questions and you know, help put out the decoys and, and really uh, immerse herself in the experience to really understand what we're doing and who we are as duck and goose hunters. It's been an amazing time. Saskatchewan's a beautiful place. It's an amazing way to kick off our season. Alyssa Drake celebrated her 15th birthday with us while on location in Saskatchewan for DUTV. She surmounted some extreme health concerns, which made her presence with us in Canada the most memorable hunting experience. 
For more than 75 years, DU's conservation efforts in Canada have played a vital role in North America's waterfowl. We'll be back in Saskatchewan for our next episode. Please join us for that and other great waterfowl adventures right here on DU TV.